And then actually we've run across not only Christians, but I've run across uh, academic, you know, writers, professors in history and political science right. and other places that through their study of primary source documents recognize the same thing. Without God in the Bible, there would be no America as we know it today. These are, these are even secular historians who aren't looking for this, but in the process, they're discovering it and becoming persuaded that America was founded as a Christian nation? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm, in the mid-80s, we visited a professor he taught at the University of Houston, Dr. Donald Lutz in the political science department. <laughs> and he, you know, had gone and gotten his doctorate at Notre Dame and learned the things that they teach in our secular schools today. But he was doing a study as a professor teaching. He wanted to find out what was the origin of America's unique law system, because it's yes. the greatest law system the world has seen yes. that produced the most free and prosperous nation ever. So he wanted yes. to trace back the roots. Yes. And so as he told us, he said, one day I kind of came to, in one hand I had the Bible, in the other hand I had Calvin's Institutes of the Christian oh, religion. Sure. He said, here is the source of America's civil law. Yes. You know, not their theological yes. ideas, but the civil law. Now, we've been teaching that for years. Yes. But, but it's just, this is what history proclaims. This yes. is just the facts. And what did his study produce? What conclusions did he did he come to? Because he also mentioned covenants. He also mentioned the sources uh, yeah, he, that the founding fathers most often quoted. That's exactly right. In many of the the uh, uh, political documents and yes. writings and different things, he he put forth different aspects of his discoveries. But one of those yes. dealt with the relative influence of the Enlightenment thinkers on developing the political ideas of yes. the founding fathers of yes. America. Yes, and he went through and looked at the sources yes. that they acknowledged as wh wh where they got their political ideas. Yes. And he concluded the most quoted source from 1760 to 1805 for their political ideas, yes. way more than any other, was the Bible. 34% of all 34 citations. It is fascinating. And the, and the next three were also Christian thinkers, Biblical Montesquieu, men. Locke, and Blackstone. Exactly right. In fact, about 85% of the ideas that influenced our foundings of America were directly from the Bible or were biblical thinkers. You can learn more by ordering Worldview products, taking local or internet courses, or scheduling a speaker by contacting the Providence Foundation Biblical Worldview University.